What's up guys, I just wanted to make a quick video talking about the Fresh Start Worlds and the rollback and stuff and all the refunds and whatnot because there's going to be quite a lot of new players that are trying out the game. I know there are players that are, that are brand new to the game testing it out that have hit this issue um, and Protox has just made a video on this but while that is true, I still thought it was worth me making one too in case someone who doesn't see his video is in the same predicament and they might see mine instead, uh, something like that. It just makes sense for as many people to cover this as possible uh, to make sure people do figure out like getting the money back and all that sort of stuff and we're going to look into it a little bit more in depth just from the actual uh, refund side of it all so yeah so basically as you can see here the, the game is currently offline for fresh start worlds there was a bit of a disaster people getting into the wrong world spending their membership and stuff um, and it wasn't all good obviously the game does have world first races and stuff so to make it fair they're doing a rollback and also trying to fix the issue uh, and start from scratch basically uh, and go from there. However, people have still already um, paid for the membership, joined the game, and put into the main game, and just gone, well, what the frick? This isn't the fresh start world. So there's a few issues, and uh, we're going to read through here really quickly and then i'll talk about the refund and stuff but one thing i want to mention here is another reason i'm making this is because this is the, the runescape launcher as you can see when you open this and the game's gone down if you don't know runescape and you don't know how bad it is for communication and stuff you won't go to the, the web page that i'm on in the background here um as a brand new player you just won't you won't think to do that you may think to go on the runescape page and have a quick look through but for, for people who are brand new you might not you, you know this is, this is something you don't know about jagex is really bad with communication in terms of like actually getting you to the to the information when this loads and gives you this error this error should just have a link to the newest game post here um the newest the newest uh, news post that we've got here and then it'll say um there was an error load in the game configuration from the website please read here for, for, for any information or even just click this link to go to the news page and see if there's anything there this could be a default link page to the, new, to the news page and then news players could actually see what's going on but the game doesn't load and you can't actually have a freaking clue what's going on unless you either go to youtube or twitter or reddit and it, this is one of the things it bugged me big time there's no help with this it's literally just well the game's off um and if you don't know to check the news page then you're screwed okay so basically let's just get rid of this um and talk about the actual thing so the, the game's offline um we've made the decision to take runescape offline temporarily in order to form a rollback this is due to an issue that caused some players to be unable to access fresh start worlds as intended during the deployment the latest status update as of 16 30 game time or 4 30 game time um the rollback processing has completed and is being transferred to our service for verification the transfer is running a little slower than predicted and uh, so we're now updating the rollback estimated for two um 15 30 or 5 30 to 6 p.m game time um so that could be any time now i believe this does mean a longer wait time than initially estimated and we apologize to any of you who are eagerly awaiting the reboot to get playing however the good news is that this is the final stage to clear before we can relaunch the game we're getting close we'll update you with more specific launch timing as soon as we get near the end of this final phase um so you can be ready to roll as soon as the game uh, returns so we're gonna quickly refresh this and see if there's anything else new on here um it doesn't look like it uh, it says in the interest of fairness for high scores races to ensure everyone can access the rest of the world correctly we would say we're going to be performing the role this is the this is the, the earlier post so basically um this is what's going on well the reason i wanted to make this is for the newer players and um, the people who maybe have spent money and can't play properly and that's what we're going to go through here so say questions on the fresh start world access I tried to play Fresh Start Worlds, but accidentally entered the main game due to the issues. Uh, what should I do? As a part of this rollback, we've addressed some issues around display names that could cause you to not receive the game mode selection um, after logging in. Once we've completed our rollback and servers are back online, you will not encounter the issue uh, and be able to select the mode as expected. You do not need to submit a ticket or take any action. Thanks again for your patience. This, I really get annoyed at this because there's no, why is this the first thing that you see, right? Because... If you've already started and you've got into the game already, um, you're not you you you're not gonna you you could read this and be like, okay, that's that's cool, but I've already paid for membership. I'm a brand new player, or I'm even a current player. I've paid for membership. I got into game, and that's pretty much what's happened. It says here, then the next bit down. This should have been the first bit. So I started the second new account and added membership to it due to the access issues for my intended new account. I don't want the second account, new account. Can I get help? What about the people who started a new account and got in game? um and <laughs> they are they're a main account now they're gonna have to make a new account but either way um you can submit a ticket here and this should have been this should have been bigger 
they should have been bigger they, they should have had its own section that said like refunds or um like support for this sort of thing and it wasn't so it says absolutely please submit a ticket here and request either to transfer your membership to another account or have it refunded we'll get your ticket as soon as we can so this is um basically what it is we're going to go through to this ticket thing uh and and have a look at what exactly is going on in here so once you get in here it says that the it's offline, offline for rollback um it's still offline um and they're, they're receiving a high volume of requests so it does take a little while now uh, it says accidentally a uh, transfer purchase here accidentally made a purchase on the wrong account we can help and um it says if you've mistakenly bought membership or other items on an account we can look into transferring the entire transaction to the correct account to transfer a purchase um purchases must have been made within the last six months purchases must be unused and transactions must be transferred in their entirety basically this doesn't matter too much but you want to go in here and click the contact us thing and then that's going to open up another page which will let you log into the game now if you've made an account, you'll have your login still, so you can you'll have to use the same login for that, I assume, and then be able to see um, exactly what you've done. But the thing is, here um, it says here as well that if you're on mobile, uh, you'll have to contact Google or Apple directly as well and re re uh, request a re refund through them. I don't know how long that's going to take. Well, this is frustrating, frustrating as hell for a brand new player too, for all players, but for brand new players, man, this is such a bad impression. Like this is this is supposed to get new players into the game apparently, and it's such a bad impression. It's so freaking bad and so frustrating but um once you click the contact us thing here you can ask for a refund on your account now if you've made a second account and you're you want you're ready to play on that then sure but if you've already made one and you got into the main game you don't want that main game membership they've not mentioned this anywhere they've not mentioned um that if you've made if you've made um a game if you made an account you've got into the main game somehow um so now you have two main accounts maybe you've got a main a, main, a current main account already uh, and then you've got a second one that was fresh dot worlds and it's thrown you into the main game um they've not mentioned anything about refunding those now i'm assuming they will but I, I'm, again i can't say for sure so come here contact this i'll link all this in the description and stuff i'll link it across contact them and it says response eta up to 48 hours now personally i would assume that because of this they will put more manpower on this uh, on the tickets and stuff and hopefully the response time isn't anywhere near as high if someone could only afford one membership to play the game and they wanted to get in and the response time is 48 hours to hear back about a fix that's so freaking frustrating and so annoying it really really is but um one last thing to mention before you get finished and um, because this is pretty much it contact them put your ticket through and hopefully it doesn't take very long guys um but the final thing is for anyone new to the game it's incredibly important to have Twitter. Now, this is really freaking frustrating. I get it. But RuneScape communicates like everything through, through Twitter. And it is incredibly frustrating. Um, but if you if you want any updates, live updates and stuff about what's going on in the game, then you want to be following their Twitter page. As if we see if the game is back up here, then it'll probably stay on here. It doesn't say anything, so it's probably not back up yet. Um, but you want to be following the Twitter page. It'll all be on here. I know it's annoying. I completely agree with you. It really, really is. But get to Twitter, check the Twitter page when everything, anything's going on and it'll put it on here and this is the best way to do it but hopefully this helps clear up even if one person figures out how what to do with this that doesn't see products or video or something then i'm happy with it but other than that guys i hope that you get a fresh start world soon i might be playing it i'm gonna be playing it in my own time anyway whether i stream it or not i don't know let me know in the comments if you want me to stream it um maybe i will tomorrow i don't know if you can hear my voice i'm, I'm a little sick but yeah other than that thanks for watching appreciate it and i'll catch you all in the next one hopefully it gets fixed soon see you later guys bye